Uh, shalom, shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And honors to you brothers out there in the highways and the byways teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. Real quick, I just want to touch on something real quick in regards to this um, uh, virgin birth fallacy. Now, when you go into the scriptures, Hebrews 7 and 14, it says this. For it is evident that our Lord which is the Lord is talking about here is Yahweh Shai, sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Right? Now, what you got to understand is, let's, let's get some of these words. When you look at the word ever, why, why did it say it was evident? It didn't just say he sprang out of jail. He said furthermore to that, it was evident. Yeah? Strong's G, 4271. Pradilos. Pradilos. That is openly evident, known to all, manifest. Yeah? Yeah, plain. But it seems like today, you guys are trying to make it not plain. Plain before all men. Obvious. Evident manifest it was obvious to everyone back then that the lord what sprang let's get that word rise to cause to rise to rise arise to rise from be descended from right let's go back our lord sprang out of judah of which tribe moses spake nothing concerning priesthood now how does one spring or descend from a particular tribe through your father it's 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 not rocket science these guys are trying to make something which is very simple and basic complicated in order for them to um push their babylonian mystery mystery religion doctrine of virgin birth which goes back to ceramus ceramus and tarmus yeah it was evident to everyone that the lord sprang out of judah because his father was joseph all right real quick numbers one and 18 and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month and they declared their pedigrees right your pedigree determines your your um your identity who you are so they'll go through who are you well they declare their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers according to the names number of names from 20 years old and upward by their poles so obviously you can okay you can say okay my father is this such and such my mother is such and such and you can go through your mother's lineage because your mother's gonna have a lineage on both sides you can go for your father but when it comes to your identity who you are what tribe are you from the only determining factor is your father's line that is your identity if your mother is um of the tribe of benjamin and your father is of the tribe of judah you sprang out of the tribe of judah he didn't scr sprang out of the tribe of judah and benjamin that's confusion you sprang out of the tribe of judah you are of the tribe of judah your pedigree is declared according to the house of your fathers and it was evident to everyone plain that the Lord sprang out of Judah. Why? You may ask. Because his genealogy was known. Yeah, they had the records. His family kept the records of their genealogies. Right? He had this record of his genealogy on his mother's side and his father's side. But how was his identity and his tribe determined? by your father because if his father wasn't of the tribe of judah he wouldn't be of the tribe of judah that's how it works in the flesh and the lord was in the flesh he was made in the flesh 
How is the flesh determined? How is your lineage determined in the flesh? By your father's lineage. As you see, Matthew 1 is going through all the fathers. Yeah? And where's Judah at? Let's go back up here. Jacob begat Judas and his brethren. And Judas begat Pharez and Zara of Tamar. And Pharez begat Esrom. And Esrom begot Aram. And Aram begot Aminadab. Go all the way down. Okay. Verse 16, And Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Yahawashai, who is called Christ. Mary is Joseph's husband. He's the man that was plowing her. You understand? He plowed Mary. He put his seed in Mary. She conceived and born a son. That son now was of his line and of his tribe. So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations and from David onto the carrying away into Babylon are 14 generations and from the carrying away into Babylon onto Yahweh Shai are 14 generations and all that the generation before Yahweh Shai was Joseph, man. All right. You, you try and complicate that. Guess what? You ain't got the truth and the truth ain't in you, man. Right? This ain't no... Ba you want to be into that Babylonian mystery religion crap. D do what you got to do. You're going to die in that, man. Just don't try and mix it with the scriptures. Because you're just going to get a worse judgment. All right? It was... It is evident. Look, man. Read it again, just in case guys can't understand let's read it again let's you got sometimes you got to repeat things there's a reason why this is written in the scriptures hebrews 7 and 14 for it is evident known to all plain manifest that our lord sprang out of judah the tribe of judah how was your lineage determined in a tribe by your father there's no other way there is no other way of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. And they ev they all knew Yahawashiah's genealogy. That's why they said, is his father not the carpenter, Joseph, who we know? The Pharisees and everyone knew it. Back then they had records. It was evident. You could go read it. It was recorded in the registry. All right. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom.